I was born and raised in North Carolina, a little small country town, country area. I had f five siblings, and my mother passed away when I was six, so I had a stepmother. And I attended a school that was within maybe two miles of where I lived. And it was not a very enriched school, but it was, it was a school. I learned whatever, they, whatever was taught, I learned it very well. And I knew that along the way in, inter in interacting with my teachers, I knew that there was a chance that I could become one of them. So, of course, I set my goal and I was able to get off to college. And um, I knew in I knew in high school, for example, that that biology was probably going to be the the my pursuit in college. And so I finished I finished uh, at the top of my class, of course, and I attended a historical black college in Durham, North Carolina. And at the end of uh, completing my BS degree, I thought I don't want to, I don't want to teach school, which is what I had chosen to to set out to do. So I started applying to graduate school because North Carolina Central is in the same city as Durham, North Carolina. I had the good luck of having a professor from from Duke University come over and visit North Carolina Central. And my professor, who was backing me and was very eager to have me enter graduate school, suggested that, that indicated to him that I would be happy to come out there and explore and look around at Duke University. I did that, and of course, I, I gained, he was very impressed with my conversation, what I knew about biology and so on. And so he invited me to, to apply, and I got in, which was an amazing thing since that no other black uh, African American had had uh, had that opportunity to go there, so it was really sort of a miracle that it all came together in that fashion. 